welcome to another video. Today I'm going to show you every pair of boots that I own. I thought I would share with you uh, my entire boot collection, which is quite a few shoes. As some of you may know, I really love shoes. I feel like shoes really make an outfit, uh, really finish it up, make it complete. So I have an obsession with shoes and I want to show you guys all the boots that I have since it's winter and um, boots are everywhere and you need them to stay warm. So you might as well have some cute boots if you're going to be slushing around in the snow and in the cold. The first pair of boots that I'm going to start off with are probably my oldest pair of boots because I got these I think in middle school uh, and I've had them for such a long time and I don't really wear them that much but I wear them like around the house if I'm running to like do quick errands but I don't really wear them other than that. Um, I'll even wear them around the house if I'm super cold. Uh, I think you guys can guess it. I'll give you three seconds. Ready? One, two, three. Did you guess? Did you know what they are? Uh, it's a pair of Ugg boots. <laughs> I feel like everyone has a pair of these and I am no different. Uh, these are a pair of dark brown, I, I don't know the exact color, but these are the Uggs. Um, everybody in my middle school had these and of course I needed to follow um, the cool kids so I also needed a pair. They're just so easy to throw on, you know, running out the door with your leggings and your giant coat to just keep you warm for those whatever 30 minutes you're going to be out of the house. The next pair is something that is extremely useful this time of year. It is my winter boots and these are a pair of like duck boots from the brand um, GH Bass and I got these at a sample sale a few years ago and they have been lifesavers. They are warm, they are waterproof and I just, they're perfect because they're high. Um, I can charge through the snow and I'll be okay. I just love the way these look. I love how comfortable and warm they are and they're the perfect snow boot. These next pair of boots you might have seen in my fall lookbook. They are these um, brown Guess heels. Um, they are like a sock boot sort of style. They're leather and they have this like elastic on the side. Um, they're very uh, narrow shaft with the flared heel and the super pointed toe. Um, I really, really love these. I got these in a nine and a half, so I did ha size half up, <laughs> size a half size up um, for these shoes, and I really love them. They're actually pretty comfortable for what they are. I don't feel like they're pinching in any way or um, uh, you know super uncomfortable. I can definitely go through a whole day in these. Um, the only thing that bothers me is, of course, the like. Um, the heel height, like the way that my foot is sitting for the whole day. Other than that, these are super comfy um, and I just love the way that these look. The only thing that's stupid about these is I got these, I don't know, a little while ago and the elastic is already kind of breaking, um, but that doesn't really bother me when I'm wearing them. I just wear like wider leg pants that covers that. <laughs> The next pair of brown boots is more of a cowboy style. Um, I got these at that same sample sale as the GH Bass rain boots. These are also GH Bass. These are also leather. Um, like I said, they're more of a cowboy style and when I first got them, um, I wasn't really sure how to style them, but the more that I have them and wear like have them in my wardrobe, the more I feel like I can wear them. I'll usually just wear a pair of skinny jeans tucked in with maybe like an oversized sweater. Um, I really like the color of these. That is the reason that I bought them. I really like the, the color and these little like poles at the side. Uh, I thought those were really pretty. So I just love these, these boots. I don't have anything like these, nothing very western style. So I really love this addition in my boot collection. Next I have another kind of western-y sort of pair, but these are more modern looking. These don't have that western style shape, but they do have kind of like a western heel and they are like these little studded booties. Um, I got these at DSW. I don't know what brand they are off the top of my head. JG? I don't know. I'm sorry. Uh, if I can find them, I'll link them down below. These are a faux leather pair with the gold studs. They're like this blush beige color. I don't have any lightly colored boots. I'm actually trying to figure out a way to wear these. I think I have a couple outfits in mind, but nothing like crazy. Um, I feel like these are going to be more of like a spring boot, but I really, really love these. I love the light color. I like the delicate studs. 
Um, so I really uh, love these to wear with more feminine looking outfits. The next pair of boots is probably my sexiest pair of boots and you would have seen these in my last haul, not the thrifted one, but these are my leopard print um, sock booties. These are from the brand Steve Madden, but I actually purchased them at TJ Maxx. Um, look at these. These are just so beautiful. They have that four inch chunky heel, that really slim, narrow sock booty uh, silhouette. I just love these. Uh, they have a little tiny platform in the um, footbed. Uh, I just love these. I love wearing these with wide leg jeans. Um, I think this is such a sexy shoe. This is another one that's pretty comfortable. Like I said, they only bother me in the fact that my foot is like this for the whole day. Um, but otherwise, like pinching or anything on my toes, um, these are pretty comfortable. So, and I just love this print and it's like a velvet. They're just like really pretty gorgeous shoes that I think add a little print to my shoe boot wardrobe. The next pair of boots is another pair uh, from Steve Madden, but I just recently got these for Christmas. It is these motorcycle boots. Um, I think these are the, oh, what were they called? I'm not sure, but they're on Steve Madden's website and I think they're on sale. I think they're about $100. Um, I love these. I've been wanting a pair of like wide um, shaft motorcycle boots for a really long time. Um, I had another pair. I wore them until there was a hole in the bottom and then I had to get rid of them and I just hadn't been able to find a pair that I liked that were similar. Um, but I have been loving these. I just recently got them, but I've already been wearing them like crazy. Uh, I'm trying to like make them a little less new and shiny, a little more of that motorcycle feel. Um, they're really comfortable. They're kind of pretty masculine, which I really like. I love like putting these with like frilly dresses, um, but also a good pair of skinny jeans. Really love these. Um, gonna be keep gonna keep wearing these throughout the winter for sure. The next pair of boots is what I would consider my like shorter version of the motorcycle boot that I showed you, but these are from um, Crown Vintage from DSW. These are also leather, um, they're just like a cute little buckle, the little V. These are another one that I can kind of take into the spring when it's a little bit warmer just because they're a lot more open at the top. Um, I definitely have to wear like an ankle sock with these. Um, they're really comfy, they're very like pliable and soft and they're just like a really easy shoe to just throw on and go out the door. Next in my collection of black ankle boots are these babies from ASOS. Um, I got these around Black Friday as well. I had had my eye on them and then they went on sale. I think they were 30% off during Black Friday. So I picked up a pair. I've been wanting a pair of very studded boots. Um, these are super cute. The only thing is they kind of rub my ankle, so I don't really know how to fix that. If you guys have any suggestions, let me know in the um, comments below. But I really like the pointed toe. I like that it's got like a little baby heel, and I like that the shaft is a little bit higher than all my other ones. Um, so I'm able to wear it with um, like skirts. I think it looks really cute. Um, I just love the how simple but exciting these ones are. On to more black ankle booties. <laughs> these guys are a very simple pair from uh, Ann Taylor. I actually got these at their um, outlet store near my house. It's just a nice, like, pretty nice chunky block heel, a little elastic. Uh, I'm gonna say I don't really wear these that often just because it's not like, I don't know. I don't really know why I don't wear these that often, but they're a really good staple um, when I do need a little bit of height. Um, like say I'm gonna wear like flared jeans and they're a little bit long. These are a really great boots to put with them. Um, I think I'm gonna wear these more often because I really do like these and I just polished them. So they're they're pretty they're pretty ready for the winter season. Um, I think that just because it's been so snowy, I, I'm not ready for a heeled boot yet. The next pair are the last in my uh, ankle black ankle boot selection of my. Uh, boot collection and they're probably my most worn and it's these uh, Steve Madden pointy toed Chelsea boots. These are just getting worn to shreds. I wear these probably uh, almost every day if not every day. I'm actually going to get them resold at the end of the season just because they are getting 
wrecked from the snow. Um, and I just can't stop wearing them though. They're the perfect uh, ankle boot shaft height. They have this little pull on the back which gives it a little detail. It's got this like nice two inch heel to give me a little bit of height and that pointed toe to just elongate the leg. <laughs> Skirts with uh, jeans with whatever outfit I'm wearing these always fit the look perfectly. The last two pairs of boots are my two pairs of thigh highs and the first pair are ones that I got last year. They are from the brand Unisa and I got these at DSW. They are a true thigh high um, and they're flat mostly. They have this little like, I don't know, three quarter inch heel um, and it's like a almost, almost a round toe, like the, a true almond toe with a little bit of like stitching throughout and then these ties on the back. Um, I really like the silhouette of these. Um, I wish they were a little more fitted, but I do like also the faux leather and the way that it looks and feels. The only other thing that's super annoying is these ties. They have all these strings coming off of them and that bothers the crap out of me. I'm gonna go through and like cut them off, but it, I feel like it just like, it's almost shedding, they're almost shedding, but they're a nice boot. Nice black, perfect for, you know, if I just need to throw on a pair of thigh highs, black goes with everything. So these are a really good um, staple. For my second pair of thigh high boots and the last boots in my collection, um, they're a recent purchase from Black Friday. And I really thought about what I wanted this time when I, bur when I purchased these thigh highs. Um, it's these ones from Franco Sardo. They are a true thigh high, but they, they hit just above my knee. Um, so not quite like a super thigh high like the um, Stuart Weitzman. Um, these are faux leather with a piece of elastic on the top. They, they, they aren't like too closely fitted to my leg, but they stay up. I don't need to pull them up throughout the day because they are a faux leather instead of a suede. And that's why I got a faux leather instead of a suede because I didn't want to get something that was possibly going to fall down and then me have to pull it up every two seconds. That is my pet peeve when I'm wearing boots. Um, they do have a zipper on the inside leg just for in case you want to um, like pull your sock up or, or pull your pants down because um, you don't really need to um, use it to get the boot itself on. The thing that got me about these is the heel height. I mean I think it's a three and a half inch heel, three and a half, three, three and a half, um, which is perfect for every day for me but I think it looks really sexy with this pointed toe. Um, I got it in the gray because I didn't want another pair of black thigh highs, but I also didn't want something that was going to be hard to um, wear piece, different pieces with, so I thought the gray would be nice with colors that I wouldn't want to wear black with, um, but still kind of keep that darker palette. Those are all the boots in my collection. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you let me know which pair were your favorites down below in the comments. If you like this video and you want to see um, other parts of my collection, my loafer collection, my sneaker collection, um, let me know in the comments down below and make sure you like this video. And if you want to make sure you don't miss any videos from me, make sure to subscribe. I put out new videos every Sunday, um, so you don't want to miss that. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. If this sounds like you want to watch it, make sure you just keep on watching. So if you want to see, mm -hmm. if you want to see all the boots I own, just make sure you keep. Do you want to see? Mm -hmm. So if you want to see my whole my blah 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 blah, all around, uh, blah, 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 blah. can I like speak clearly? God.